I want to share with us, you know, I want to share with us on the subject, be fruitful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you have somebody very close to you, hallelujah, tell them, be fruitful. Be fruitful. If it's your husband, be fruitful. If it's a child, be fruitful. If you're alone, hallelujah, tell yourself, be fruitful. Tim, be fruitful. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, in the book of the beginnings, we see, you know, the book of be the beginnings was written by Moses. Hallelujah. And you will know that Moses was not there. Moses was not there. Glory be. Moses was not there. Glory be to God. Moses was not there. But there was a time that Moses requested that he wanted to see God face to face. Glory be. And God told him, no man has seen his face. You know, but the scripture tells us that God hid Moses at the cleft of the rock. And, and the Lord passed by. The glory of the Lord passed by. Glory be to God. And it is a, that, and no Moses beheld the glory. Hallelujah. He saw things. Hallelujah. I believe that God granted him access hallelujah, to go back into the beginnings. Hallelujah. God granted him access to the beginnings. And he was able to write vividly. He was able to write constructively the events of the beginning. He was able to describe with such accuracy and detail, you know, with that, 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 that emanates uh, uh, pictures. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Like somebody that was there. Hallelujah. So he was able to reveal to us the beginning. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter uh, 1, Moses, Moses, with words, with declaration, with events of things, he was able to he was able to bring this out. And if God granted Moses access to go back to the beginning, God is telling us something. God is taking us back. God knows that it is important. It's important to know there are important things that we must recover. There are things that we must know about ourselves. There are things that we must know that are freely given to us by God. I believe that this is one of the reasons why God allowed Moses, hallelujah, to gaze into the events, hallelujah. And the Bible tells us, Moses is describing, he said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and their darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved, moved upon the face of the, of the waters. Verse 3. Hallelujah. And God said, look at me. And God said, let there be, let there be light. And there was light. Glory be to God. Let there be. And there was light. Note that, note that Moses describing how God called the light into being, into being, into hallelujah. God said, let there be light. God spoke, God spoke into existence. Moses was able to show us that God is a creator. God is a creator. God, God invents. God manufacture, God produces, hallelujah, God produces. From this scripture, we discover that God exploded, if you permit me. God exploded creatively. He created the heavens and the earth, hallelujah. He separated the heavens from the heavens. He separated the waters from the waters. And he listen, oh yeah, God, God, God revealed an aspect of him an aspect of him that he will later confer unto you and I. God revealed to us an after a dimension of him that he was ultimately going, going to going to show. Hallelujah. He was going to require the same of us. God created. And the scripture, and the scripture continuing, the scripture told us that God created for seven, on the seventh day, God rested. 
And you know, and look at it in verse one, in, in chapter one, verse twenty-seven, we see God. Hallelujah. We see God. We we see God talking, having a kind of meeting. Hallelujah. And he said in Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven, the Bible says, "And God created, a, and, and God created man." Hallelujah. In verse twenty-six, he said. Let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. After our likeness. After our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, and over and, 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 and over the cattle, and over all over over all the earth, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Hallelujah. Glory be. So God created man in his own image. Notice that God, you know, it, this is an established fact. This is an established fact that God created man in his image. And he goes further to tell us, in the image of God, in the image of God created he male and female. Ha, created he them. Hallelujah. And God blessed God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowls of the air and over everything, every living thing that moveth upon the upon the earth listen, God established this Bible says he blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. In 27, you know, he told, he made man, it is created us in his image. Listen to me, uh, my, you know, my, my beloved brethren this evening, it is a fact. It is a fact. It is a fact. I was listening to a man of God, you know, some time ago on this same subject, you know, and he was describing something that, that happened to me while, you know, while I was young, you know, trying to play a trick on the, on the, uh, on the, on, 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 on the mirror, you know, I believe it happened to some of you also in the mirror, you, you know, you want to play a trick on the mirror. You want to play a trick on the mirror and just and just and just and just, and, just, and, and do something and uh, and see if the mirror was going to miss it or the mirror was going to be late. No, no, no. Ham the original. The mirror is only reflecting the original. Oh yes, we are to reflect God. Hallelujah. We are to reflect God. We are created in His image. We are to carry out the same grace. The same potential, the same mindset, the same you know thinking ability, the, the same creative grace. Hallelujah! God imparted unto us. So when when God in the book of Genesis told us when he when he declared when he declared unto unto man in Genesis chapter one verse twenty eight when he said to man. Be fruitful. Listen. Listen. What God was saying is that what I have put inside of you by creation, by creation, what I have imparted into you, now bring it out. The ability I have inserted into you by commandment, by, by impartation, that do it now go into manifestation. That which I have I have, I have brought upon you. Now release it. He said, be fruitful. God cannot ask us what we have not been designed to do. God cannot require from you what he has not given to you. What God, what God is demanding by asking and, and, and saying, he did, it was not a suggestion. That word there, it does, it does not mean that if you want to. No, you have to. I have given you everything. Capacity. Ability to dream like me. Ability to imagine. 
ability to turn things upside down, the right side up, ability to bring something up. I hope God is a God of knowledge. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, God has has images, imagination that exceeds that exceeds man. Hallelujah. God has so many ways of doing things. And he said, What well, be fruitful? I have given you the same. I've given you, I've breathed upon you. The Bible tells us he breathed upon us the breath of life. That man, listen, that man that God made, that God made, that Moses described, that man that God made, God breathed into him. That man was made out of the out of the dust of the earth. That man was made out of the dust of the earth, but but God in creation breathed unto him. God emptied his person, his very essence into that man. And the scripture tells us that that man became a living being. That man, that man became a living being. That man is supposed to carry the image. He's supposed to be a replica of God. Hallelujah. He's supposed to be a replica of God. That man, because God by creation, we can see that God is a fruitful God in creation. Genesis chapter 1. Verse 11, Genesis chapter 1, verse 24, you know, Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. We can go there. Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, Bible says, and God said, let the earth, let the earth bring forth, hallelujah, let the earth bring forth, glory be, let the earth bring forth grass, God, God, God is producing now, hallelujah, let the earth bring forth grass, the half, the half yielding seed, the half yielding seed, and the fruit the fruit, the fruit tree yielding fruit. Hallelujah. Glory after his kind. Whose seed is in itself. Look at it. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So when God, you see, when God says be fruitful. When God said be fruitful, he had so many things. In mind. What we have seen in Genesis chapter 1. Is a fruitful God. Hallelujah. A fruitful God. Hallelujah. A God that that that, that revealed a many, many, many side of his very person. His ability. Hallelujah. What we see in Genesis chapter 1. Is a, a God of production. A productive God. Hallelujah. Glory be to productive. God is productive. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. God is what? God has a productive mind. What we see in Genesis chapter 1 is, 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 is a God with ideas. Hallelujah. The idea of a tree is different from the idea of the sun. The idea of the sea is different from the idea of the, of, of the soil. God is God has ideas. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh yeah, God is a God of ideas. And with his ideas, he rules. With his ideas, he, he takes dominion. Hallelujah. You cannot be a, a child of God and should like ideas. Oh yes, if you lack ideas, you are stranded. If you lack ideas, you are stranded. Are you listening very carefully? Oh yes, if you lack ideas, you are stranded. We see God as a productive God. We see the mind of God in display. Hallelujah. We see the what? The mind of God. We see that God is a thinking God. When he gave us the eye. He didn't put the eye under the feet. He's a thinking God. He put the eye where it will be relevant to the stature. You know to the composition of the man. Or the being that he made. He's a thinking God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh yes. Oh yes. You see what he did? You see that God hallelujah. Glory be to God. He's a thinking God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know the scripture tells us that the things which were made in the book of John he said that for the things which we see were not made by the things which appear. So that knocks out evolutionary theory. It knocks it out. 
So what is God saying in essence? Well, we know God is telling us that, you know, as, as the things which were made, were not made by the things which appear. Which means the unseen things. What are the unseen things? God spoke. Hallelujah. God spoke. God spoke. Hallelujah. He spoke word. And the words that he spoke are like seeds. Are like seeds. Hallelujah. And the earth was this, is the soil, like the womb. Hallelujah. The words he spoke are like seeds. The word God spoke are like seeds. Hallelujah. Bible said he sent forth his word. Seeds. He sent forth his word. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Bible says in another place, the entrance of your word gives light. Hallelujah. And understanding to the simple. The words of God are like seeds. So when God spoke into the earth, let there be light. Hallelujah. The earth is like the ground. Bible tells us somewhere, he said, Oh, earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. Oh yeah, the earth has the capacity to receive. Like the womb of a woman has the capacity to and the ability to receive seed from a man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. So tonight, we are looking. Hallelujah. We are looking at, at that word that God spoke to us. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. If we are going to walk in dominion. If we are going to walk in dominion, we must be fruitful. We must be fruitful in many aspects. You know one of the fruitfulness that you know we readily, we readily acquainted with is the fruitfulness of our bodies. The fruitfulness of our bodies. Glory be to God. And oh yes. Oh yeah. You see, the fruitfulness of our bodies, it's very important. But listen to me very carefully. There are much more much more levels of fruitfulness that God, God is calling us. Hallelujah. Bible says that, he says, he says, he says, he says to us that, uh, that, 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 that the fruit of the womb, hallelujah, that the fruit of the children are the heritage of the Lord, that the fruit of the womb are his reward. The fruit of the womb. So, you know, Bible trying to tell us that you know when you know, when when we give birth, it's a kind of fruit, hallelujah, that comes out of the womb. Oh yeah, it's a kind of fruit that comes out of the womb. But beyond that, the scripture, God, God also wants us by dominion to be fruitful. He placed us. He told us that we should. He should. You know. He, we should. We said subdue the earth. Hallelujah. Do have dominion. Subdue the earth. What is he telling us? He's telling us that we must engage. We must engage the earth. We must, we must, we must, we must put our think, our mind to work. Hallelujah. We must make our mind work. Hallelujah. We must make our mind work. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We must be fruitful. We must be active. Fruitfulness is be, to be fruitful is to be active. To be active mentally. To be active in our mind. Hallelujah. To engage our mind with information. Relevant information that will produce fruits. Hallelujah. That will produce fruits. Men upon the earth have built ships. Hallelujah. God spoke to Noah, gave Noah an instruction. Hallelujah. What did he do? He gave Noah the seed. He told Noah to build an ark, a seed. Hallelujah. And Noah took the word of God, a seed of the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He took the word, he took the seed and went to work and brought an ark. Hallelujah. He went to the ark. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When God told him, when God told him to build an eye, hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh yeah, God, hallelujah, God had given him everything, the seed, hallelujah, the seed. And Noah went to the earth, 
cut trees, did a built decks. Hallelujah. Oh yes, built decks, mesh, did measurement. Hallelujah. His mind was active. His mind was working. Everything was not straight. There were things that were bent. There were things that were long. There were things. There were decks. They were built. His mind was working. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The scripture tells us in the book of Second Peter somewhere. He tells us. He said, receive it the engrafted word. Receive it the engrafted word. Hallelujah. That ye may grow thereby. Receive the engrafted one. There is something that we must receive. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. James chapter 1. I, I, oh, no. Hallelujah. He said, We are for lay aside every superfluity of, of nothingness and receive with meekness the engrafted word. That word is the seed. That word is the seed. As the woman needs the seed of the man, every fruitful man. And woman needs the seed of the word. Needs the seed. He said, receive this engrafted word, which is able. Able, which means it gives you the ability. The ability to maneuver. The ability to build ships. The ability, hallelujah. The ability to be an engineer. The ability to communicate. One of the things I'm doing with my life this, this night is that I am I'm being fruitful. I'm communicating to you. Oh yeah, this is part of fruitfulness. I'm communicating to you. Oh yes, I'm communicating to you. We just did worship now. Hallelujah. Part of being fruitful. Hallelujah. Is, is, is using your gift and talents. Your graces. Hallelujah. Your graces to God. Hallelujah. And to the betterment of humanity. Hallelujah. To be fruitful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You must be, you, you must be fruitful. You, can, you don't have a choice. You can't sit around. You can't complain. You have been given what it takes to be fruitful. Glory be to God. The Bible tells us, he said, receive you. Job chapter 22, verse 22. Job chapter 22. He said, receive you the Lord. Hallelujah. From his mouth. And lay it up. Receive, I pray thee, the Lord. From his mouth. And lay it up, and lay up his words in thy heart. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. To be fruitful. There are measures and steps to take. Do you know? Oh, yes. We must receive the word, which is the seed. We must receive it. To, for us to be fruitful, we must receive. We must receive the word, the, which is the seed. He said, receive it. I pray. It's very important. It's very, very. If you are going to be creative, if you are going to be unstoppable, if you are going to be a winner, if you are going to come up and walk in dominion, you must receive. You see, I pray they receive the law from his mouth. From his mouth. From his mouth. Mary sat at the feet of Jesus receiving the word. Hallelujah. Martha was busy, busy about this pattern. Mary sat down to receive the word, to receive the word. At times you receive the word from the mouth of the, of, of the Lord and, and your character is affected. Your character is developed. Hallelujah. Your car, as you receive the word and you lay it up in your heart. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh yeah. You lay it up. You lay it up means you allow it to sink into you. You meditate. You think on it. You roll it. You think on it day and night. Night and day. Day and night. Night and day. You roll it. And then the word conceive. Hallelujah. And then an idea is bath. Glory be. A vision is bath. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the word. Glory. And the word became flesh. Hallelujah. Glory. And then you begin to see the glory of the word. Hallelujah. That's fruitfulness. That's being fruitful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm talking about be fruitful tonight. Hallelujah. Be fruitful. Glory be to God. Tonight I want you to know that there is God will not require of you what he has not given you. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Psalm 8. Glory be to God. Psalm 8. Let's, let's start reading from verse number 1. Psalm 8. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who hath set thy glory above the heaven. Verse 2. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou art ordained strength because of thy enemies. Thou mightest steer the enemy and the avenger. Hallelujah. When I consider, now look at it. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, talking about the fruitfulness of God, the moon, the fruitfulness of God, and the stars which thou hast ordained. Hallelujah. Glory. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him. Ladies and gentlemen, hallelujah. The psalmist tells us there that God there, there is a visitation. And you visit. Hallelujah. Glory be. When God spoke in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, there was a visitation. That visitation was for impartation. That visitation was to settle something. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, that if, 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 if that visitation was to establish man to become fruitful. Fruitful, fruitful in your mind, fruitful in your body, fruitful in your hand, fruitful in your thoughts. Hallelujah. Fruitful in your hand. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Fruitful in your tongue. Fruitful. Glory be to God. You are to be fruitful. He said, what is man that thou, thou art man? For thou art made him a little lower than Elohim. I want to know Angelos. Elohim. And has crowned him with what? Look at it. And have crowned him. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. Hear me. If you hear me, hear me. There's an impartation. There's a deposit already. It's like somebody has deposited a billion dollars in your account and you don't know. Somebody has deposited. God has deposited something within every man. Hallelujah. Glory be. That must be discovered. It is the order of a king to consider a matter. The glory of men to search it out. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh yeah. It, it is in the searching. Hallelujah. That you become fruitful. It's in the discovery of what has been imparted into you. That you change your world. You change your atmosphere. You change your nation. You change. You are a changed person. Hallelujah. It is in the oh yeah, Jacob crossed the river Jabok. And he became another man. He crossed the river Jabok. And he became another man. Jacob became another man. He left his father's house with a staff. With a staff. And he came back with a nation. Hallelujah. That's fruitfulness. That's fruitfulness. That's fruitfulness. Oh yeah. He left. He left his father's house. He ran with his staff. And he came back. Glory be to God. He came back with a nation. He came back. He came back with things to give Esau on the way. Glory be to God. He came back. He came back loaded. Glory be to God. You cannot afford to stay the same. In your thinking, you can't remain the same. Oh yeah, in your thoughts, you can't remain the same. You must grow. You must expand. You must become fruitful. You must, you must, you must touch, impact, impact time, impact your environment. Glory be to God. Verse 6, look at it. Verse 6. Hallelujah. Thou made, made us him, or made him. Ma, look at it. Thou made him. Thou made him to have dominion. Look at it. Thou made him. Are you listening to me? He made him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. Engineering. Medicine. Sports and entertainment. Music. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hospitality. Made him to have dominion over the works of the hand. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Glory be to God. And has listened. And has put all things under his feet. Which means what that tells us that is the solution. You must not run. All things. Everything. Is it nation? Governing politics? Governing of nations? Oh yeah. 
governing of a nation, righteousness, righteousness, the scripture tells us righteousness exalts a nation. Oh yeah, oh yeah, is the nation suffering financially? Go and check if they are in right standing with God. Go and check if they are walking according to the order of God. And listen very carefully, righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach. Sin is what is a reproach. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So the scripture tells us there of the capacity. Hallelujah. The capacity, the God-given capacity. Hallelujah. God given. God, God, God is showing us. Moses is showing us by revelation that we have been given capacity. Hallelujah. That David. David. But that we have been given capacity. Capacity, ability, ability to be fruitful. He said he has he has crowned us. Hallelujah. Oh yes. He has not just to be ordinary, not just to be basic in our doing. Hallelujah. But to but but to come up with our game. Not just to play the drum just anyhow, but to play it with such skill. Not just to play the guitar just anyhow, but to play it to the degree. Glory be to God that you begin to minister like David. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. David. David, through the skillful playing of his instrument, was able, was able to kill uh, uh, sick Saul. Hallelujah. That's fruitfulness. That is fruitfulness. Oh, yes. Today they call it music therapy. Hallelujah. David plugged into it a long time. He didn't just play like every other person. He didn't just play like somebody who did not want to play. He didn't just play like a half-hearted person. He played with such with such dexterity, with such ability that, he, that there was there was nothing. There was there was you know there was no second to him. Oh yes, he played with such inspiration. Hallelujah, glory be, and won himself. That fruitfulness. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank God for Sinash. Thank God for Sinash. I look at that woman. I listened to one of my interviews. And some of the people who, who had worked with her. Very disciplined. Very disciplined. One of the men said, uh, sometimes we will try to cut corners. And she will not agree. She will not agree. So we will stay until the night. Sometimes we will stay till late. Till late. Why? Because she wants to be fruitful. And her fruitfulness has now given birth. Her fruitfulness is being celebrated. Her fruitfulness is now a ministry to, to, you know, to the globe. To the globe. Your fruitfulness can be a ministry to the globe. Your yes. To the degree of your discipline. The level of your discipline. The, the level of, of, your, of, 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 the, of the input that you put to it. Oh yeah. God is demanding of us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, hallelujah. You know, somebody's hearing me and you're saying, how do I become fruitful? You need a seed. You need a seed. John chapter 15. You need a seed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You need a seed. Glory be. You need a seed. The Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 15. You know, Jesus talking, I'm the, I'm, I'm the vine. I'm the, I'm, I'm, the true, I'm the true vine. And my father is the husband man, is the dresser. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, look at it, that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And what? Every branch that beareth fruit, he does what? He pruneth it. He pruneth it. Hallelujah. Oh, he pruneth it that it may bring forth, look at that, everybody, more fruits. Somebody say more fruits. God is interested in more fruits. Hallelujah. God is interested in more fruit. He said every branch that beareth not fruit, he take it away. So God is not interested in storytelling. He has fashioned us, commissioned us, anointed us to bear fruit. We must bear fruits. He said if you don't bear fruit and you are in him, he said he take it away. But everyone, look at it, everyone that bears fruit, 
Hallelujah. He prunes it. Hallelujah. He projects it. Glory be to He removes some things just to allow it for what? For more expansion. He expands you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He expands you. Look at it. Verse number three. Hallelujah. That he may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean. Look at it. Through the word. Look at it. Which I have spoken to you. We're looking at, you know, we're looking at, you know, uh, receiving the seed. No, verse 4. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Abide in me. Abide in me. And I in you, as the branch, look at it, as the branch cannot, cannot bear fruit of itself, except the abiding vine. No more can you accept you abide in me. Hallelujah. I'm the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, look at it, the same. There has to be an intermingling. There has to be an intercourse. If you permit me. There has to be an inter a mixing of our, of, our, of our mind, of our spirit with the word. Hallelujah. To produce. The word has a form. The word has strength. The word has a nature. The word has a character. Glory be to God. That's why when you receive the word of God into your life, hallelujah, it, it fine tunes you. Your mannerism changes. Your attitude changes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When you are when open to the word, when the word of God impregnates you, you begin to carry the nature of the word. You know when a woman he, he receives all of a sudden, things begin to happen within. Hallelujah. No pretense. Things begin to happen. There is a, is a chemical reaction within our body. Things begin to change. The same with the word. When the word is received, when the word is received genuinely, oh yes, there is a change. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There is a change for you that helps you to begin to bring forth that helps you to begin to line up your thinking with the thinking of God. You line up your thinking. You begin to you begin to you begin to operate with in the in the same wavelength, hallelujah, of the spirit of, of God. You begin to operate by the spirit that is in the word. Hallelujah. You know the Bible tells us that the word you know, the word which I speak to you is spirit and life. Let's continue. He said, he said, he said, if a man abide not in me, he's cast off as a branch. And he's withered. And men gather them and cast them into fire. And they are burned. If ye abide in me, look at it. And my words abide in you. You shall ask whatever you will. And it shall be done unto you. Glory be to God. It shall be done. Herein. Look at it. I finish here. Herein is my father glorified. Herein. He said, this is it. That my father be glorified. That he bear much fruit. That he bear what? Much fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't sit around. No, you can't sit around. Oh yeah. Every investment must, must bear the fruit of what has been invested in it. No. Oh yeah. God cannot invest in you and you sit around. No. No, 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 no. 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 He says, Herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit. So ye shall be my disciples. Hallelujah. You bear much fruit, so you be my disciples. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What, what is he saying to us? God has a fruitful expectation which are which we are. God has a fruitful expectation. Oh yes. God has a fruitful expectation of you and I. He wants us to be fruitful. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8 he tells us you know to go and witness fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Glory be to you. can be fruitful with your mind. You can be fruitful by writing. I wrote a book. Oh yes, reward on reward. That's fruitfulness. That's part of that's part of the fruit that God has given to me. The book. Hallelujah. Oh yes, I'm to write more. You should write. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I sing. Hallelujah. EMS is fruit. It's part of the fruit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
touching lives, challenging men. Glory be to God. It's part. Oh yeah, we must bear fruits because there is coming a day that the Master will ask us that what have we done with our time? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What have we done with every idle time? Hallelujah. What have we done with empty rhetoric? I looked up the word idle. With empty, you know, with insincere statements. What fruit will that produce? Hallelujah. What have we done with exaggeration? Hallelujah. What have we done with nothingness of talk? As a place... In, in, in Asia, called Areopagos. Men just come to Areopagos and just talk out. Just say all sorts of things. What's the new thing in town? What's the new thing? And they just while away time. The scripture tells us in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 14. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14 verse 12. It tells us. It tells us, glory be to so then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. <laughs> let us therefore judge one another. Let us, let us not therefore judge one another anymore. But judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block of an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I am. Go back to verse 12. He says, so everyone of us will give account of himself. Everyone will give account of what you have done. What you have done with your talent. What you have done with your mind. What you have done with your mind. Look at how, how productive things are in the West. Look at, how Look at how the mind is exploding. Look at inventions. Look at Zoom now. Because of Zoom... Things can move on. Oh yeah. Look at what how Zoom has helped us. You are looking at me at your house now. Because somebody was fruitful enough. Hallelujah. Not just to write a write on transmission. Oh yeah. Not only designed it on paper. But went out. And dug in. And looked for the materials. Oh yes. And, and, and got into production. Oh yes, and followed it all. Glory be to God. And now, this is a fruit. Hallelujah. This is a fruit. You are sitting in your house, and you are seeing me. I'm here. I'm here. But you are seeing me. I'm communicating to you the fruits of somebody's labor. Glory be to God. That's the use of the mind. That's the use of the mind. Glory be. Be creative. We are seeing God made made we are made in an image a creative god every believer must be exploding every believer must be exploding believers must not be stranded believers must not be stuck because god cannot be stuck believers must be advancing believers must be progressing progressing in your thinking perfect progressing in your vision hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah how do we get to this place? There has to be a fellowshipping with the word. A fellowshipping with the word. We see that. Glory be to God. We see that. Glory be to God. We see that in John chapter 15 verse 4. A fellowshipping with the word. A fellowshipping with the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And you know one thing? God wants to be glorified. He wants to be glorified. He wants to be glorified. He wants to be glorified. God wants to be glorified. Abide in me and my and, and, and I in you. And as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except you abide in the vine. No more. Except you abide in fellowshipping with the word. That's the seed. That's where you get the seed. Jesus talking about talking. He said, The sower sowed the seed. Hallelujah. The sower sowed the seed. So the seed must be must fall. You must be able to identify the seed before the fruit show up. Hallelujah. Identify the seed. Oh yes. Oh yes. Become, become seeded with the word of God. Become seeded with the word. Let the seed of the word of God come into you. And let the, let the nature of the word begin to grow on the inside. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
If God were to be here today and ask you this question, where is your fruitfulness? What would you tell him? If God were to ask you today, what fruit are you bearing? What would you give him? What would you tell him? If God were to tell you, what fruit are you bearing? What is the fruit that you are bearing? You can write books. You can design programs. You can help in nation building. You can help in ministry. You can help to design projects, things. Oh, yeah. You can engage your mind. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Part of the fruit. Part of our fruit. We go on missions. We go on missions. And then we touch lives. Yeah. We do surgeries. 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 We, do, we, we, we see patients. Some of, sometimes hundreds, thousands of patients. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's part of our fruits. The fruit of our labor. I just make it, we minister to them. What fruit are you bearing? If God were to ask you to do, what fruit are you bearing? What fruit are you? You know, you know what is telling you that have you have you mingled with the seed already? Without the seed, there, there can be no fruitfulness. What seed are you receiving? What seed have you have you, what seed have you have you received? We must be mindful of the seed. Because the seed will produce after its kind. Oh yeah. Oh yes. If you are receiving wrong seed, you will produce wrongly. So that's the reason why you must be very careful. What seed? What seed are you under? Hallelujah. What seed are you open to? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What seed? There is a spiritual seed Hallelujah. that can produce in you the nature of God. The character of God. The character of goodness. Hallelujah. The character of the godly character. Godly virtue. Brotherly kindness. Hallelujah. Gentleness. Peace. Meekness. Hallelujah. Oh yes. But this comes as you receive the engrafted word of God. As you receive it in your heart. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is beckoning on, on us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is beckoning on us. Hallelujah. To be fruitful in our mind. Hallelujah. He wants, God wants you to be fruitful in your character. God wants you to be fruitful in your hand. I was listening to a woman of God today from South Africa and she blessed me. She said, I had to get into business because, you know, I knew that God was going to be putting me into ministry and it's going to require some money. And, I, and because of that, I did what I needed to do very well with excellence. And I poured the money into, into ministry. He said, I know how to balance it. Because I knew that, you know, the reason why God is giving me this ability. He said, I know how to, how to, how to. He said, I just had this gift about houses, about real estate. And people just knew that I, there's my, he said, I would take people to beautiful houses. Beautiful houses. And people just fell in love. With the way I bring out house, and they started paying me. They started paying me, and oh yeah, and her creativity began to work. Hallelujah! And now she's global. Now she's global. Now she's ministering on so many platforms. Are you listening? Fruitful in every good works. Hallelujah! Glory! Fruitful in your fruitful in your mind. Fruitful in your character. Fruitful. Glory be to God. Fruitful with your hand. Fruitful with your thoughts. Glory be to God. This fruitfulness will give us access to dominion that cannot be, that cannot be denied. Dominion will sit you on top. Will make you ride in high places when you are fruitful. Glory be to God. When you are fruitful. Glory be to God. Oh yes. We build schools. Unbeatable schools. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fruitful. Glory be to God. Oh yeah. Build schools. Build it freely. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Erect hospitals. Feed people. Feed them graciously. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Knowing that
that the one who sits in the secret will reward us openly. Well, tonight, I'm, 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 I, rest, I rest here tonight. Father, we praise your holy name. We bless your holy name tonight. We ask you, Spirit of God, we ask, oh God, for your presence on each and everyone hearing me today. And Lord God, you will make us to be fruitful. Fruitful, Lord God, in our mind. Fruitful, Lord God, Lord, in the word. Fruitful with our hands. I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be an emergence, oh God, oh Lord, of, 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 of fresh vision, Lord God, to pursue, to pursue. The things that God, Lord, will be putting in the heart of your sons and your daughters. We ask, oh God, that your name above all will be glorified. Thank you, precious Father. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.